Hello students, today in this lecture I am going to explain human female reproductive system. Just like male reproductive system, the female reproductive system also includes primary sex organs, secondary sex organs and external genitalia. So, the primary sex organ as you know it is the organ where the process of gametogenesis takes place. Generally the ovary, there are, there are a pair of ovary which are situated on either side of the uterus. And these ovary are the primary sex organ that helps in oogenesis and as well as acts as, acts as endocrine gland because they synthesis and secrete two female sex hormones, one is progesterone and another one is estrogen. And hence ovary is a homologous structure to the testis of male. And the second type of sex organs is secondary or accessory sex organs. It includes accessory glands and accessory ducts. First of all, if you take accessory glands, about this accessory gland, uh, uh, I will explain in the next lecture. Accessory glands, generally it includes vestibular glands and mammary glands. Next, the second type of sex, uh, secondary sex organ is the accessory ducts. You know, these accessory ducts includes ovi duct from here to here it is ovi duct uterus cervix and vagina so ovi duct uterus cervix and vagina are the accessory ducts of female reproductive system and the finally external genitalia which is also called as vulva about this external genitalia we will discuss in the next lecture so, first of all in today's lecture I am going to explain mainly the accessory ducts of female reproductive system. First of all let us talk about the fallopian tube which is also called as ovi duct. So, the fallopian tube it generally includes the infundibulum, it is a funnel shaped free end of the ovi duct and this infundibulum it produces many finger like projections you can see in this diagram those finger like projections are called as fimbriae and here if you observe the diagram carefully at this side I just wrote the fimbriae like a fimbriae which are held to the ovary generally there is no functional connection between the ovary and any part of the female reproductive system. Ovary it is just situated in the body cavity with the help of ligaments you can see with the help of ovarian ligament and as well as with the help of suspensor ligaments right. Here in some textbooks you can see like this like uh, fimbriae which are held with the ovary tightly actually it is not there is no functional connection. Nen pitkoli yavadiritya functional connection irodilla. Ovary in the another egg release are that egg enters into the infundibulum through a cavity or opening called as ostium because of the sucking action of this fimbriae. Nodi illirtakanta e fimbriae na nim kadeg inge turn maadi torsirtakanta diagram. It turn like this towards you. So, at the center there is ostium that receives the ova or egg by the sucking action of this fimbriae and infundibulum is followed by a wider or dilated portion and it is the longest portion of fallopian tube called as ampulla and after ampulla you can see a very narrow and short portion that narrow and short segment is called as isthmus through isthmus the fallopian tube joins the uterus. So, all these components that is from ostium, fimbriae, infundibulum, ampullae and isthmus, these are ovi duct or fallopian tube. Right. And this ovi duct may be approximately around 15 to 20 centimeter in length. Right. So now ovi duct is followed by the uterus. Here 
in the upper two corners where oviduct exactly joins the uterus that portion of uterus where oviduct joins to it at its two corners is called as cornus and there is a bulged end or bulged portion of uterus at the union of this fallopian tube with the uterus that bulged portion is called as fundus and the fallopian tube uterus jothe join aagtakanta portion alli uterine cavity na ondu melagade bartakanta ha ondu region nu bulge agirutte adanna uterine fundus anthe helibittu kareytevi and this uterus encloses a cavity that called as uterine cavity right and ishtu portion idiyalla nodi ishtu portion ishtanna body of the uterus anthe kareytevi from here to here it is called as body of the uterus from here to here so ivellavu enappa antadre body of the uterus aagabodu uterine cavity uterine fundus and cornus ivella ottige naavu uterus anta tagolak this is uterus or womb nodi it is inverted pear shape nodadakke it look like an inverted pear right but here in the uterus it is generally made up of three layers outermost layer it is generally thin this thin outermost layer is called as the peritoneum sorry perimetrium it is generally it's a peritoneum layer actually the thin outermost layer is called as perimetrium perimetrium is protective in nature perimetrium is followed by a thick portion which is mainly made up of smooth muscles called as myometrium myo means muscle and this myometrium helps in the strong contractions of uterus during the child birth or during the delivery of the baby and finally the innermost layer you can see uh, which i have represented in red color this innermost layer it is highly glandular and vascularized layer this layer is called as endometrium and here in the endometrium actually the cyclical events during uh menstrual cycle the cyclical events that are takes place in the endometrium layer mainly it is responsible for menstruation you know menstruation or bleeding during that bleeding or menstruation process the endometrium will rupture along with the ruptured endometrium blood and mucus will be released through the vagina so that is what called menstrual flow and that menstruation is mainly due to the rupturing of endometrium and endometrium is the region where attachment of embryo actually nodi ampulla matte isthamasna junction alli in the ampullary isthmatic junction fertilization nadiyutte means the fusion of sperm and egg egg ostium mukantara ee region ge enter agutte ampullary isthmatic junction ge sperm through vagina cervix and uterus it reaches to here and at this junction fertilization takes place after fertilization ena agutte the fertilized egg also called as zygote it travel through this fallopian tube and enters into uterus because walagade ciliated epithelium tissues irutte that cilia helps in the propelling of the fertilized egg or egg or zygote into the uterus a uterus al band mele a embryo ee ond endometrium layer walagade inge kutkolutte implantation anta karithivi so attachment of embryo or clearly we can say attachment of blastocyst a embryo hesare enappa andre blastocyst in the endometrium that process is called as implantation so one more function of endometrium is implantation right so this is about endometrium it is and it is one of the important layer and this is about the three layers of the uterus and you nodi know, after this body of the uterus uterus aad mele there is a narrow portion id broad ide but here is a narrow portion that narrow portion after the uterus you can call it as cervix cervix andrene biologically meaning narrow anta neck anta so cervix it has two openings uterine cavity opens into cervix 
ಯುಟರೈನ್ ಕ್ಯಾವಿಟಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸಿಂಪಲಾಗಿ ಯುಟರಸ್ ಓಪನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸರ್ವಿಕ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಆರ್ ಎಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಇದನ್ನು ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಓ ಎಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಕರೀಬಹುದು ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಓ ಎಸ್ನ ಸಹಾಯದಿಂದ ಯುಟರಸ್ ಓಪನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸರ್ವಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಓ ಎಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎ ಸರ್ವಿಕಲ್ ಕೆನಾಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಈ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸರ್ವಿಕಲ್ ಕೆನಾಲ್ ಓಪನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ವಜೈನ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಓ ಎಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸಿಂಪಲಾಗಿ ಹೇಳಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಸರ್ವಿಕ್ಸ್ ಓಪನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ವಜೈನ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಆರ್ ಎಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಓ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಓ ಎಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸರ್ವಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಬೈ ವಜೈನ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಟೆನ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ದ ಸರ್ವಿಕಲ್ ಕೆನಾಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಜೈನ ಇವೆರಡನ್ನು ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಕೆನಾಲ್ ಯಾಕಪ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೇಬಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆದಮೇಲೆ ಡೆಲಿವರಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಬೇಬಿ ಅಕ್ಕರ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಕೆನಾಲ್ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ ದ ಯುಟ್ರೈನ್ ಕ್ಯಾವಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಸರ್ವಿಕಲ್ ಕೆನಾಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಜೈನ ಬೇಬಿ ಡೆಲಿವರಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಕೆನಾಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಜೈನ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೂ ಮೋರ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಟು ರಿಸೀವ್ ಪೆನಿಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷುವಲ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಪುಲೇಷನ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಮೇಟಿಂಗ್ ನಡೆಯುವಾಗ ಮೇಲ್ನ ಪಿನಿಸ್ಸನ್ನು ರಿಸೀವ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ವಜೇನ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಮೆನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಲ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಅಕ್ಕರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡೆಲಿವರಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಬೇಬಿ ಇಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಕೆನಾಲ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೆನಪಿಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ಯುಟ್ರಸ್ ಜನ್ರಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಲೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದಿ ಯುರಿನರಿ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಡರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಕ್ಟಮ್ ವಿ ಅಗೇನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಲಿಗಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ಒಂದು ಲಿಗಮೆಂಟು ಇಷ್ಟು ಈ ಡಾಟೆಡ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಇಷ್ಟು ಏರಿಯಾ ಇದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಬ್ರಾಡ್ ಲಿಗಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಒಂದು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಕಡೆಯೂ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ ಲಿಗಮೆಂಟ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ ಲಿಗಮೆಂಟ್ನ ಸಹಾಯದಿಂದ ಯುಟ್ರಸ್ಸು ತನ್ನ ಪ್ಲೇಸಲ್ಲಿ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಓವರಿ ಕೂಡ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಓವೇರಿಯನ್ ಲಿಗಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲಿಗಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ 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 ಬರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಒಂದು ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಮಿಝೋವೇರಿಯಮ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀಬಹುದು ಬೇಕಾದರೆ ಸೊ ಇವುಗಳ ಸಹಾಯದಿಂದ ಅವು ಪೊಸಿಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೆಲ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ವಜೈನ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಇಟ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಓಪನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ವಜೈನಲ್ ಆರ್ ಇಫಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲಿ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಲೇಯರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಹೈಮನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ರಿಮೇನಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ದಟ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಓವರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಸರಿ ಗ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಏನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಕ್ಸೆಸರಿ ಗ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅವುಗಳ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನೆಕ